What's up? If you're watching this on YouTube at a later date, welcome back to Celio's Network. Uh, this is being recorded during a live Twitch stream, and I'm playing some games with Zorak Gardevoir. I really, really like this deck. This is probably the deck that I talk about the most and test with the most. Um, just so many options. Really powerful, too. Not these kind of starts, though. These kind of starts are bad. No Lele, no Ultra Ball, no Bridget, no supporter of Eddie Kind. <sighs> as far as the eye can see. Um, okay, Carbink Break and Fighting Fury Belt. This might be Buzzwell Garbodor. I think it is definitely Buzzwell Garbodor. Look at that deck box. <laughs> Come on, give me a Bridget. Zorark GX, let's go. You are doing nothing for me. This is, this, this might be a really quick game. Ugh. Maybe they'll end us just because we have a big hand. <laughs> Cynthia, no. Top deck, Ultra Ball, let's go. We're in there. Um, we'll get rid of Fairy and Evo Soda. Get a Tapu Lele GX. Field blower. Wonder tag. Bridget is the safe play, probably. I could Cynthia to try to get, you know, basic Pokemon plus, but I really want these basics. Hmm. I could make an early threat with the Clefairy and an energy drop. Um, I'll get two Zoro and a Ralts. And I'll attach Fairy here and pass.
Ultra Ball for Lele. Um, Sycamore, I guess. They have no hands. That's good for us. They're not Guzmaing our Zerua this turn. Uh, imagine if that Carbink was safeguarded against GXs too. That thing would be so good. Awesome. So we can... <clears throat> Mallow for Candy Gallade. Do we do that or do we trade away this Mallow? Hmm. I guess we can Mallow for Candy Gallade. Trade away the puzzle. Premonition, our next card. <laughs> Not the plays we want to be making, but we didn't have a lot of amazing choices there. Um, we'll put Zerua at the top, maybe? No, we want Cynthia at the top. Yeah, we'll just... The other ones don't matter. We're just going to draw Cynthia and play it. So we know next turn we're going to top deck a supporter. We already played a supporter this turn, so Sensitive Blade's doing max damage. And we now have a really good one prize attacker uh, bothering them. So our setup's kind of weak, but next turn we'll get Cynthia and we'll be fine. Okay, I'll take six new cards anyway. I'll have to play a supporter now to get the six cards. <sighs> oh, Candy Guardy, Zorark, DCE, <laughs> Mew, and N. Okay, this is a really good. Uh, this is really good draws here, making up for that slow start that we had there. So we're gonna take the knockout on this Zygar as long as we play a supporter. Let's candy this down. Attach. Um, I'll attach a DCE here. No reason to play the Mew down. I'll N. There's our supporter for the turn. So we get that sensitive blade knockout. Um, and then let's premonition. See what's happening up here. Um, Clefairy can definitely be good if they bring up Buzzwall. Puzzle's always good. So I'll just leave it like that. I'm not going to trade this turn. We don't really need to trade for anything. Um, and then we'll just take the knockout here with Sensitive Blade. So that mallow play for the Gallade really paid off
So they have the Carbink active. They're going to Wonder Tag. Guzma. Okay, so they might be going for a big knockout on the Guardi here. With, um, Buzzwall. Yeah, that's what they're going to do. That's all good. We're just going to return it with a Mew EX, I think. So, a Mallow for Mew EX Floatstone. Yeah, that sounds good. UEX, Floatstone, trade away, we'll trade away Guzma, play that down. Excuse me. Do we have a puzzle in hand? Yeah, so let's put that puzzle at the top of the deck. We'll get that next turn. And we'll get the knockout here. Go down to two prizes. Next turn. Can we knock out a Lele with anything right now? No, we don't have anything that can knock out Lele, so we might have to two shot or just knock out the Carbinks. Oh, there's a Buzzwall. And we have a win condition. <laughs> So they're going to end us if we don't see a Guzma, we'll trade, and Premonition, then trade again. So the trading, then Premonition, then trade, lets us dig as deep as possible. Uh, if we Premonition, then trade, trade, uh, there's only five cards that we're seeing, but trade, then Premonition, then trade, lets us see seven. Um, Parallel City, we only need... Okay, so we need a... Guzma with the Glade, um, so we can get that off, and we need our trade, so we'll get rid of a Zerua. So they hit our Mew for 50 damage, get their Buzzwall powered up. Um, we need a Guzma. We also need to get this Parallel City out of there, right? Yep, that'll be helpful. Um, Actually, we didn't need to, because we can just copy Sensitive Blade if we get the Guzma as well. So let's trade one. Should be a Guzma. And Guzma. For the Buzzwall. Uh, retreat out the Glade. And then take the knockout with Mew EX. Mew EX is the MVP there. Two hundred and sixty copying that sense of the blade. GG. All right, let's. Go for another game with Zoro Guardi. Really, really like this deck. Ooh. 
Oh, that's a nice coin. It's probably from the Espeon GX box. <laughs> okay, Ultra Ball. Um, we have Tina to get rid of right away with the Ultra Ball since uh, we're probably not playing against Greninja. Yeah. Uh, Yvettel and Tapu Koko promo. Okay. Interesting. I don't know what we're playing against one bit. Ultra Ball, Way, Tina, and Blower. For Lele Bridget. Uh, four Puzzle in the deck. Two Mallow in the deck. No DCE prized. Glade and Guardi are both here. One choice band prized. Alright. Lele. So Tapu Koko can actually be a huge pain for us because we don't play Mr. Mime to stop that bench damage. Um, I'm just going to go Triple Zork. Triple Zorua, my bad. <laughs> Devoured Field, NN. Alright, so we'll get a fresh hand of six. Our hand was okay, but maybe it'll be even better with two extra cards. Okay, Zorark, Mallow... Not bad. Oh, and they played Devour Field, so our dark Pokemon also do 10 more damage. Hoopa. Alright, um, I think I'm going to get Glade DCE possibly I think that sounds like a really good play here and then just run through their whole deck And then we can premonition and set up our draw for the next turn. Zork. And All right, we're getting a Zorark, and then there's an N right after it, so. We'll draw the Zork, play it down, trade away Fairy, Energy, or Guzma, get the end, play the end, yada yada. <clears throat> Alright, we see the Enhanced Hammer on our Gallade's DCE. Not a huge deal. Evil Tall is resistant to us, I believe. Yeah, so... Um, but we can just one-shot it with a Zorark if we get Zorark to the active because of that Devoured Field. Three Hoopas. Oh my god. Ugh, excuse me. Let's trade away Bridget. Evil Soda. I don't want to play Parallel City because I want to keep that uh, Devoured Field out for myself that they have out. Guzma, Cynthia. Um... I think I'll go Ultra Ball. 
away the Guzma and the Ralts for a Zorark, Cynthia, then if we don't get the DCE Floatstone off of that, we'll Premonition and see what we're getting with the next trade. Um, I'll just attach this down to get it out of our deck. There's a float stone. Let's look with premonition. Ah, uh, no DC. Rip. Uh, what are we getting here? We'll put that to the top. Um, I guess we'll just attach a fairy energy. And... We don't really need to trade because we saw what we're getting and it's of no help. I'll save the float stone. Um, I guess we'll just pass and take the knockout on Evil Tall next turn. Energy Lotto. Got the DCE. So they can't one shot our Gallade right now with that. Well, technically a two shot, it already has chip damage. But bottom line, I think Gallade is safe. All right, they got that, that belt. Uh, we already used both of our blowers. <sighs> that might be a little annoying since we don't have a, um, we don't have a Gardevoir down. I think I'll Guzma up their Aranguru and knock it out with Zorark. Trade away an N. Mm. That's fine for now. Oh, okay. So we're gonna have to dock this hoop out with Glade. We'll just get um, Mallow for Max Potion DC. Trade. Get the one shot here. Let's premonition. DCE is good. Ralts is good. And then sensitive blade. Like having so many different viable attackers in one deck just feels so powerful if the deck sets up. And the deck sets up really well. Um, like you have Gardevoir, Glade, Zorark GX, Mew EX, Clefairy, then you even have Lele as an attacker. Alright, they got rid of another DCE. But we just have another DCE waiting for them. Um. Hmm. What do I want to go for here? Let's trade. Because if we get puzzle, we could get field blower and get rid of the um, fighting fury belt. Hey, somber curse, what's up? 
Thanks for joining the stream. Um, yeah, so let's attach that here. We might be using that. Trade away an N. Then we'll premonition and dig in there and see what we can find. <sighs> okay, no, uh, no puzzle. <laughs> so I guess we're just going to be trying to two shot this little evil doll. He's being pretty pesky. Yes, I'm sure. And then we'll just sensitive blade for 110 after resistance. And he's still alive. If anything, this deck is annoying, but it's pretty underwhelming. Ninety. Um, they still can't knock out our um, Gallade with a Hoopa unless they get a belt on it and retreat the Evil Tall. So there's that. Um, yeah, this Gallade looks like it'll be living another turn. So that is very good. Can enhance armor DCE. <sighs> I would love to see a. Let's trade one. Let's trade one. I would love to see a Guzma here so we can knock out a Hoopa. And we'll have enough of their Pokemon on the board to, to take our final prizes. Um, get rid of the Ralts, I guess. Let's premonition. All right, great. Two puzzles. That's what we want to see up there. Use another trade. We'll grab a Guzma. And... Maybe a DCE just because they keep removing them will be safe. Uh, so, Guzma, DCE. We will Guzma this one. Enhanced Hammer, the special on the other Hoopa. Retreat with the old reliable float stone. Uh, excuse me, our deck's getting pretty thin, so we won't use another trade. We already premonitioned, and then we'll sensitive blade here for the knockout. So then Zoroarks can clean up the game, killing that evil Taw and Oranguru. And we can just play around the Hoopa if they knock out the Skalade. I might add one of those uh, follower goal things to my stream, just because I'm pretty close to affiliate. I'm trying to get those last few followers, but I don't know. I don't want to clog up my screen any more than it is. I already have my sponsor and my Patreon thing and my uh, alert box up, so uh, we'll just put a Zork with the float stone.
send up a fresh one. And like I said, the deck's small. I don't know if they're hiding any uh, mill cards in here, so I'm just going to take the, the uh, knockout here. Yeah, so they're looking at Hoopa as their win condition. It very well could be if they didn't put the Oranguru down as well. I believe we have one more puzzle in there. Let's just check right click. Yep. So we can just trade into the puzzle, goose them up to Oranguru. And that's game. And that is the GG. played <clears throat> hopefully we see something a little more meta next game fighting psychic probably buzzwell garbador It could just be Buzzwell and the uh, Lele is their Psychic, but the deck box being fighting Psychic, they're probably playing Buzzguard. Ooh, this is a pretty good hand. I like it. We'll bench both. Uh, be active Ralts and then bench the other Ralts. They got the Lele start. Oh, uh, we just played against this guy. This is the same Buzzwell player we played against a couple games ago. Ham and Cheese 113. I definitely remember that name. Okay, so Buzzwall, we're going to want a bench full of Zorar was and then try to get Zorark, Mallow, Mew. We got the Mew, so yeah, it should, should be easy to do that. Um, do I want to just get two Zoruas and leave the spot? I'll get three Zoruas. They'll probably try to knock one out. Last game against this deck, I think, was the one where, um... Oh, okay, I just clicked... Wait. What? Is it only letting me pick two? Oh, they have Parallel City out. I'm an idiot. <laughs> I didn't even notice that. I thought Bridget was, like, bugged or something. So I guess I'm just getting the two Zeruas. And we will need to find ourselves a, uh, field blower next turn. That's fine.
so this is definitely a better start for them than we saw the last time we played this guy. Um, the Parallel City hurts a bit, so they'll knock out Azarua, leaving us with one. Um, I think I will... We're going to send up Ralts with the damage. Ugh, excuse me. And then Mew, Ultra Ball for Zorark, Cynthia. See if we can get that Floatstone DC. No, and no field blower either. We're also looking for the field blower. Rare candy, but that's not going to help right now. Uh, we can actually drain and kiss them so they don't knock us out here. They would need a strong energy. I actually think I want to do that. Yeah, we'll drain and kiss. Drain and kiss OP. Now they're playing an Ultra Ball. So I guess they're not playing any um, Garbodor and the Psychic in their deck box is just the Lele. Ooh, this is the second game against them that we haven't seen a Garbodor. Mewtwo, okay. They got Mewtwo as well. That's good to have. They got the belt, so they are going to knock out this Ralts anyway. Um, so next turn, we're going to try to knock them out again with this Mew EX, I guess. And then we might get Return knocked out by that Mewtwo. It's going to be a whole mess. Um, depending on the top deck... We might be able to Lele Mallow. We could always Lele Mallow for Field Blower DCE, knock them out. Just hope to get Candy Gallade to knock out the Mewtwo next turn. We already have the Candy. But I definitely want to knock out this Buzzwall, even though they have a Mewtwo waiting for us. Okay, we got the Mallow anyway, so we don't have to play the Lele. But I actually think we have to play the Lele for the bench damage. Like, to copy uh, Riot's beating. So we're going to play down Ralts. We're going to Mallow for Field Blower, DCE, one DCE prized, trade away Zorark GX, get what we need.
Lele for... Let's save the other Mallows in there. No, so one Mallow prized. Um, I, we already have a supporter, but I guess I'll just grab the Guzma anyway. Yeah, so one Mallow is prized. And then we'll copyright his beating for 200. Maybe we'll take the Mallow as one of our prizes. Guardian. Oh, fairy. Okay. So we could always Candy Guardy, Fairy Energy, Cynthia, try to get a DCE to knock out the Mewtwo if they're going to attack us with Mewtwo. Excuse me. <laughs> Alright, they sent up Lele because they have the float stone. They are going to go down the two prizes off of this, though. So we are looking for a DCE to get the knockout here. So we'll candy. Secret spring to the active. Uh, I should have gotten N last turn. If only. I should have planned ahead just a little better and got the N instead of the Cynthia. get the DCE we also get a candy glade let's premonition What's good, buddy? And I'm not going to trade. I'll just keep what we have. And we'll hit this Mewtwo for 150. Oh, but there are two prizes with a fighting type deck. And we have a Zork on the bench. And they have a seven card hand. Because two turns ago I laid for Cynthia. And if I was planning far ahead enough, I... Would have laid for an N, I think. <laughs> Alright, so they're playing Brooklyn Hill and Parallel City. Probably a 2 2 split. Pal padding two Guzmas. Rock. They're probably going to try to do big damage to our Zorark with the car bank. Is that the plan here? Hmm. Sycamore. Okay. We can hit him with that crispy end next turn. Oh, wait, no, they're going to go for, uh, they're just going to set up the buzzwall and then try to get the knockout next turn with the buzzwall. All right, this is bad. And they have Fighting Fury Belt. This is bad. Oh. 
Okay. Okie dokie. Let's... Let's look at what's here. We got the Clefairy in there. We have three more puzzles. The other Mallow is prized. Um, let's premonition. Okay, puzzle. Puzzle's good. We got puzzle. We got Guzma. Whew. So we can ultra ball for Clefairy, double puzzle. Oh no, we, we have to trade too. Can't forget about the trade. So, let's trade away the Zorark, because we're not going to be playing another Zorark anytime soon. Is it for the Clefairy? Is that what we want? One, two, three, four, five, six. It would be Knuckle Impact with... They can't knock out Mew, right? It would take a lot for them to knock out Mew. But Mew can't hit Carving Break. That's something we need to keep in mind. Um, okay, if we attach a DCE to the Gardevoir, we have a big beefy Gardevoir ready to go. They can knock out pretty much anything we want. We'll just have... Let's see if there's a floatstone in here to grab. There is not. Okay, so we need the field blower. And we'll go with the Mew. So field blower to get rid of that. Wait, we can sense the blade 260, so we don't need the field blower because we need the DC. So we don't need to get rid of the fighting fury belt. Because we'll just copy Sensitive Blade. Um, we'll attach this just in case we need to do really big damage next turn. And we will copy Sensitive Blade to do 260 damage. <sighs> I don't think they can get the knockout here. They would need a lot of stuff. Let's see how many resources. They've already used three elixirs. I think we have this unless they have energy max elixir hit it energy switch we i think we won i really wish there was a float stone in the discard because then we could have just attacked with gardevoir and have been a little safer but they could also one shot the gardevoir with max elixir energy switch attach retreat
Alright, so they're using Lele for Guzma. Are they just gonna Guzma something up and hope it sticks? Because if so, we won. Yep, that's their plan. That's 70, 80... 200! Oh my gosh! They missed it by 10 damage. Power Gem does 40, 70, 90, 100. Oh man, that is close. So if they had another Regirock, I wonder if they're playing it. They would have won. Oh my god, I didn't even see that. I did not notice that if they had another Regirock, they won there. That is... That is wild. But, um... We'll attach here. Um, and just bench a Pokemon and knock them out, right? Yep, and they scoop. <clears throat> GG. Alright, I'm gonna stop recording there for YouTube. Um, so if you're watching this at a later date on YouTube, thank you for watching Celio's Network. Um, you can subscribe, like, comment. Thank you for doing so. If you do, follow me on Twitter for updates. And uh, check out my sponsor, Guardian Gaming, TCG.com, if you need any PTCGO codes. I'll see you next time here on Celio's Network.